The Obama administration today has announced change in the nation's policies on illegal immigration. He is he has announced today that he is giving, giving amnesty to about 800,000 illegal immigrants. Now, notice, I didn't say that he would push for a change in the nation's policies. He's not trying to get this through Congress. He is just in a breathtaking fashion, seizing power. This is exactly what a dictator does, not an American president. We are a constitutional republic. They don't do that. He doesn't have the ability. The Department of Homeland Security doesn't have the authority to do this. Obama is now stopping all deportations for certain classes of illegal aliens. Essentially, he is going to put in place the DREAM Act without dealing with the hassles of debating it, voting it, discussing it, even writing an executive order. He's just doing it. The Obama administration is going to stop deporting and begin granting work permits to younger illegal immigrants who came to the U.S. as children and has since le- led law-abiding lives. Under the administration's plan, illegal immigrants will be immune from deportation if they were brought to the United States before they turn 16 and are younger than 30. If they have been in the country for at least five continuous years... Now, wait a minute. If you were brought here before you were 16 and you're younger than 30, why why not those who were brought here at 15 and are now 50? Why the cut? Why 16 to 30? Kick them out. They're different. I love that, too. You have to be able to stay in the United States for five consecutive years. So you have to be a consistent lawbreaker to get this benefit. (laughs) If you happen to go home in between, then no, of course not. I want you to see this for exactly what this is. Instead of having to spend $100 million on Spanish radio and television trying to mobilize the Hispanic vote, trying to get your progressive leftist out of control Hispanic like La Raza and worse those organizations trying to convince them that they should be behind you instead of spending all that time and money Obama has just seized control of our legislative process and is unilaterally enacting an incredibly controversial proposal to give immunity from the laws to what he hopes will be a reliable voter This is pandering on a scale this country has never seen before. And this is a dictatorship. When a president can say, I'm not going through Congress, I'm not doing anything else, I'm just going to take control and change the laws of the nation. That is fascism. That is a dictatorship. Make no mistake, what we said would happen three years ago has just happened today. We said, Congress, you better be careful because you are being made irrelevant. He's not going to use you. It's not even executive order. He's just doing it through the Department of Homeland Security. Meanwhile, the Janet Napolitano is telling us that the border is now better than it's ever been. That is an out-and-out outrageous lie. This is one of the most important topics of our lifetime, what's happening on the border. It is a war zone. It is worse than a war zone. What's happening in Pakistan on the border, what's happening in Iraq on a border, is not as bad as what's happening in our own country on our border. We lay this out in cowards, and um, the cowards in Congress won't deal with it. The cowards in the media won't deal with it. The cowards in the Oval Office won't deal with it. President Barack Obama is a coward. He knows he can't make the case. He knows you'll never go for it. And so he just takes it. It's one thing to say that that's a a mark of a courageous man just moving forward. Not when you have all of the power. 
not when it's a move to give you even more power. It's the act of a coward. Based on every crazy thing like news reports and word of border guards, words of eyewitnesses, what's happening on the uh, on the border is out of control. We go over the accounts of the violence in the United States related to the drug war that aren't even recorded. For example, look at the brilliant minds our government, our government, these brilliant people, the, the best and brightest among us, they call spillover violence. Spillover. First of all, they don't even have a cohesive definition for what the term even means, let alone how to fight it. Spillover. This is how Homeland Security defines it. Spillover violence in, in, uh, entails deliberate planned attacks by the cartels on U.S. assets, including civilian, military, or law enforcement fi- uh, uh, officials, innocent U.S. citizens, or physical institutions such as government buildings, consulate, or businesses. This definition does not include trafficker or um, um, uh, trafficking, whether perpetrated in Mexico or the U.S. That spill over coordinated intentional attacks on government buildings is spillover violence. In other words, if a drug cartel member beheads five rival drug cartel members in the middle of Dallas... DHS doesn't consider that spillover violence. That only makes sense in this stupid town of Washington, D.C. We're broadcasting today from Sirius XM. I hate this town. We're in Washington, D.C. I hate this town. (laughs) The amount of blood that would spill over the rim of an empty, empty swimming pool... We don't count. Call me crazy. Napolitano also manipulates the statistics to say that the overall violent crime is down across the southwest border by 30%. That's only true if you look at big border city crime statistics. Places like San Diego, one of the safest places among the border, thanks to the fence that Duncan uh, uh, Hunter built years ago. Napolitano and the Department of Homeland Security are cowards because they hide behind the misleading numbers instead of acknowledging how dire the situation on the border is. And this president is just made it worse. In Cowards, we tell you the truth about the border. A six-year-old boy kidnapped from his Las Vegas home at gunpoint because his grandfather owned a cartel more than... He owed him more than $100 million. We tell you the story about the five men who were tortured and killed by having their throats slit in northern Alabama. Hildago County, the sheriff's deputy in Texas, shot three times because he was trying to stop a kidnapping. We could go on and on and on, and we do in Cowards. What needs to happen is that any time individuals associated with Mexican drug cartels engage in violent criminal activity against anyone on U.S. soil, that needs to be documented so we know the truth. But we're not into documentation anymore. 50 pages of footnotes. You don't take my word for it. But if you look at the chapter on the drug cartels and what's really happening on our border and how Napolitano and Department of Homeland Security are criminally um, negligent at best for what is happening. And you tie that together with the information on the Muslim Brotherhood. And then you tie that together with a chapter on George Soros. And then you tie those three things together with what the president just did today, and you begin to understand what you're up against. You begin to understand who this president is. You begin to understand that many people in the United States government are either asleep at the switch or they're on the wrong side.